Hey everybody, I'm back again with another video. This is setting up the task scheduler to automatically clean your damn files and folders. So the first thing you want to do is hit the Windows key and X. That will give you a menu to launch the PowerShell. And you want to launch the PowerShell as an administrator. And then type in C-L-E-A-N-M gr dot exe space forward slash s a g e s e t colon one what I'm going to do is basically create a registry entry once you've selected the settings in which your disk cleanup will be, um, I guess, configured for. So you pick, you know, whatever files and folders you want it to go through and delete any unnecessary files. Um, and when you do it this way, it actually gives you a lot more options than just right clicking and going to uh, the disk cleanup application. So you can do a lot more uh, files and systems this way. Now, I didn't want to pick the recycle bin because sometimes I delete stuff and, you know, or I could delete stuff on accident and then not remember to restore it. And so I wanted to still leave that as manual, but I wanted to set this up so that it can kind of make sure I don't get some overrunning files in my temp folder or my temporary files and uh, eat up all my hard drive space. So once you hit enter or OK, uh, that's done. Now you're going to want to go into your uh, search section and type in task. And what that's going to do is bring up the task scheduler and click on that and it will launch it. And you want to create a basic task. So click on that and then give it a title, clean temp files. And then I'll give it a description of automatic clean up on schedule. Click next. And now you can select between daily, weekly, monthly, a one-time event, every time the computer starts, when you log in, or if a specific event happens. I'm picking monthly, so I'm just going to have it happen every month and I am going to put the first of every month. Once you've done that, you can click next and then start a program. And then your argument is basically the program that you wanna run and then any additional arguments or uh, settings that you want to uh, do. So I find the fastest way to bring stuff up is to start spelling it out in the file name and then selecting it. Now in this case, we want the additional argument to basically have a slash and then sage run colon one. That's going to allow it to run each time on the schedule uh, from that registry entry that you did earlier. Now, I always click open properties at, at before, when I click finish, and I always change it to run whether I'm logged in or not. And I also uh, select the run with highest privileges. It's just something I do. I've never tried to run it any other way, and I've 
always had it work. So this is how I set it up. Now, once you've created that, it's going to ask for your password. Type in your password. And now, if you right click on it, you can actually select it to run now. When you do that, uh, you are doing a test run to make sure that no errors are occurring and that the task completed successfully. Now I'm going to go into my uh, Windows temp folder and going to see if anything has changed. So as you can see right in front of our eyes some stuff got deleted. Um, so I know that the task completed and anything else in there looks like it's nominal and not needed. You look at the actual running of it when you refreshed it you will see that the task has been run. So in this case, you have to close the application. And then when you reopen the application, the listing will be refreshed. So just type in task again in your search. And now you'll see that the clean had a time. So that's it. That's my video. Thanks for watching. I hope you got something out of it. And if you like this video, then please like, comment, or subscribe. Catch you later.